Michael Bender, center, the um, Christian Left blog. This is the second of the um, of the blo of the posts that I made on uh, June 24th, after the day after Roe was uh, repealed. Um, so this is the child tax credit and the question of sex. The majority in Dobbs denies that abortion regulation is not a woman's rights issue to the extent that 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 heightened security is required in considering it. Uh, this assertion demands del deliberate deliberate ignorance. There are many in the anti-abortion movement who would not let women be responsible for their decision to end their pregnancy, who would make every decision, who would make every decision to have sex while, while denying the right to birth control, the decision to procreate. In other words, their answer to the question of choice is the question of whether or not to have sex. Their, their contention is, is logical, which is why it is wrong. If the, if the majority interests in the legislature feel free to judge every sex act, which is the implication of this decision, then they must concede that their idea of well-ordered liberty is more about order than liberty. To be truly pro-life, one must support, as a matter of right, the adequacy and refundability of the child tax credit and its delivery with wages, rather than just as an end-of-the-year bonus. Further, it must provide for an adequate minimum wage so that no family is simply su subsisting on the benefits of their children. Those who cannot be worked must be given some form of minimum income, either due to some manner of physical or mental disability, or to be paid their opportunity costs in pursuing education and training. And that includes basic literacy in the English as well. That's at ESL. We should be giving people who are in here, whether legally or not, English lessons and paying them to get them um, and paying them enough so that they don't do any other work. Uh, in a modern technological society where its basic needs can be met with fewer and fewer labor hours, the work week must either be shortened or some level of basic income exclusive of the child tax credit must be paid. To, to, not, ad to not adequately support workers, st students and their families is to turn low-wage work into slavery. To, to not grant a guaranteed income is to turn well-ordered liberty into the majority penalizing the sin of sloth or sloth. Regulating abortion without also providing for adequate individual and family income is not pro-child, it is anti-sex. While there are some, including many devout churchmen, that have no problem with this implication, I invite them to own it publicly and not, and not hide behind a belief in the rights of the unborn. To be pro-child, one must be sex positive. Build back better. The plight of Down syndrome families must best illustrates this issue. Parents regrettably abort children found to, be, to have the disorder because they fear not only for themselves and raising the child, but for the, ch the children after they survive them. Respite care for the parents of Down syndrome so Down's children, like existence of pregnant women, is the easy part. The hard part is guaranteeing the long-term welfare of the child. This will require much higher unearned disability benefits. Supplemental sec security income is simply inadequate for Down's victims to achieve a decent existence absent low-wage low labor that is hardly, hardly affirming. For this reason, all disability income must be adequate, especially when it is unearned by working four quarters. Such benefits sh should be adequate to, to not require wading into the maze of public assistance programs available today, especially when obtaining and maintaining benefits requires strict compliance to the documentation standards. Thank you, President Clinton, for that. Since the reform of welfare, such as requirements, such requirements are, are at best called punitive. It is, it is no wonder that parents see abortion as a better alternative for, to, for their, to, for their children than a life of poverty at the whims of public assistance agencies. In other words, pro-lifers, put up or shut up. Either, either provide adequate income or own that you're anti-sex. So we can then prohibit you from voting or doing something about your insanity. Um, so, yes. 
Uh, thus endeth part two of our reaction to the overturning of Roe.